welcome back so before i run in command line i want to tell you one thing maybe i have to cover by now like what browsers does cypress support as i told my in my initial lecture it supports chrome firefox microsoft edge and electron browsers then you might be wondered what is electron electron is also kind of chrome here so electron basically uses chromium as under hood for rendering any html okay but instead of pulling up all chrome related options it will use chrome only for rendering and we also need chrome browser for rendering only right we don't want to store favorites bookmarks all these are not required but in general when browser is created you will have so many options but for as an automation tester we need a browser only to render our html under hood it will still use the chrome html to render for electron browser as well but it will uh, minimize work by excluding so many options in particular what other browsers have so that's the reason in current days people are suggesting to use electron browser to run your automation test because those will be more stable as it yields high performance compared to another browsers and inbuilt it's doing what chrome exactly does so there will be no difference 99.99% you will not see much difference and good part here is cypress by default bundles electron browser in general you need to download electron browser in your machine but when you have cypress it pulls up electron by default when it gets downloaded and tests are more stable and fast in electron browser you can do same thing in chrome as well there is nothing difference but you might see one or two issues with cypress chrome compatibility on the latest version so for example today chrome version is 78 cypress guys have made every effort to make the chrome version stable but tomorrow 79 is released okay they may have some issues so they may at least take one month to come up with fixes for 79 version right same thing is with any other automation tool called selenium as well so that may be if you work on latest versions you might see one or two issues here or there until they give fix and that's common to any automation tool but where is an electron you won't face that because cypress main intention is to support all the electron browsers and when it gives us electron browser it will also give the version okay so here you see electron 61 so that means cypress is thoroughly tested on electron 61 and if you run on that browser every test should pass but you need to know how to run in different browsers right now you don't have any information on which browser you are running isn't it you run one simply cy.visit which visited the url but you don't have any idea in which browser it ran isn't it let's see so here is the drop down you have to select the browsers so right now by default electron browser is selected and if you want to run in chrome you need to select chrome option if firefox firefox and microsoft edge you need to select edge option okay so once you select that specific option let's say now i want to go with chrome and that's it and now you select any test which you want to run here so let me select test 1 so that it will now invoke your test in that specific chrome browser okay you see that chrome is being controlled by automated test software and you landed on that page this is how you can work on chrome so once you are done go back to your test again just like how you have executed chrome um you can select any other option let's say firefox and then start running any test so that it will now invoke in firefox browser as well you see that firefox icon is open and tests are now running in firefox browser so that's a great update made by cypress so in this way it supports all the main browsers awesome so i will quickly show how to run in edge browser as well 
so select edge option if you don't see any option here so that means you don't have latest version of that browser so just go and download edge browser again which will update to latest version so that it will reflect in your cypress okay so select any test and now it will try to open in microsoft edge which is uh, advanced versions of internet explorer all right you see that same test is now running in edge browser great similarly for electron you can choose electron browser which is highly suggested by cypress to run your all automation tests okay so this is how you can run from test runner and similarly if you want to invoke this test from command line so that means here there is already test runner running here so that's why you are seeing this logs instead create one more new terminal so that you can work on that without uh, disturbing the first powershell okay so how to run test from command line so let's go back to their official documentation and see what are they are suggesting us how to run commands so basically you can run all your cypress test cases with the run method okay if you want to open test runner cypress open but if you want to run all the test cases present in your project cypress run when you say run by default it will execute all the test cases present in this examples folder okay so cypress run will automatically point to this folder and that's why we suggest to write all test cases under this examples folder only in very next lecture i am going to talk about this project structure but for now just understand that cypress only runs test which stored under this examples so when you say give this command it will look what all test cases are present and it runs but if you want to run one specific spec file let's say there are some 100 test cases under this examples and if you say cypress run all will get triggered which you don't want you want only test1.js to trigger in that case after run forget about this record for now i will talk this whenever we deal with the dashboard concept so cypress run hyphen hyphen spec we generally call each file as a spec file in javascript terminology okay and this is one spec file spec and pass the path to your spec file that's it so that it will only run that specific file and you need to also understand that cypress if you run through command line through command line cypress always runs in headless so there are two modes of executing your test head mode means browser will open and you will see the execution headless in the sense browser will not open it will be handled internally by calling the apis of the browser so that execution we say as a headless execution so your test will still run but you will not see the browser invocation and that's become trendy in current days because opening browser doing all the operations it's taking it's consuming little more time so people started running all the test in headless so that performance is really really improving in giving the results and it brings down the execution time as well so that's why as i told cypress completely concentrated on the latest modern technologies so by default it's giving us an option to run it in headless but if you want to achieve same in frameworks like selenium or protractor you need to write at least four lines of code to bring that headless but by default it runs it it runs in headless mode and also in electron browser so the default browser Cypress always suggests us to run in Electron browser, as I said, which is under hood of Chrome. So, if you don't want to run in headless, if you don't want to run in Electron browser, you have to clearly tell to Cypress through command line. Okay, through test runner you have uh, options, right? 
you can actually select which browser you need to run and by default it's a head it will show the execution for you on the screen so when you run through test runner it will be always in head mode by opening the browser and you can switch the browsers here so first of all let me run with a simple command again when you want to use cypress command that will only stored in bin folder so you have to give this path for sure if you want to use cypress if you don't give this you will run into error try this and see what error you are getting so our actual command is this run just to have this we are navigating to this path node modules bin cypress and we are just saying run right now there is only one file here so i need not give any spec information of which spec to run as we are having only one spec here hit and enter and this will do the same thing of execution as i pointed in my documentation browser will not at all open but execution will be done as i said it runs in headless and it will pick electron you see that browser selected is electron spec found one by default it is checking in examples folder and it found that there is only one spec available and it's trying to run that spec perfect run is done pass and these are the results okay run finished all specs passed and no browser is open everything is run in the headless which is great let's say you want to run in headed with the head mode simple hyphen hyphen put headed so that now browser will invoke and you can see the execution so i will just mention core concepts here it's all about knowing concept i cannot write each and every command here that you will however get it from your files okay you see that test is open here in the headed mode cool so this is how you can run your test case from your command line this is required when we integrate this whole framework later into ci tool called jenkins okay there we will not have this test on our right entire jenkins is um, handled through commands so there we will use that okay now let's say that i want to run this in chrome not in electron you saw this command if you want to run electron browser in headed mode hyphen hyphen headed but if you want to run in chrome it's very simple hyphen hyphen browser chrome simple right chrome so that your execution now will start in chrome browser if you want to run in firefox browser then instead of chrome just use the word called firefox and that will trigger the entire test in firefox browser similarly for edge use the edge word instead of firefox and this command now will trigger in edge browser that's it so this is how you can give the commands from the terminal and control your execution in which browser you want to execute okay so once you are clear with all this stuff then we can deep dive into actual test cases so i need not explain again every time like how to run in different browsers so that's why i am making your basics right and tight so that we can jump into the core concepts from our next lectures all right so the only topic left now for me is to explore and explain what all these folders and how we going to use them in our framework building and that's it and thereafter we can jump into our core automation test cases building and we'll take it from there okay thank you